Oh, but wait, there's more. I just heard a train on my scanner. I got an eastbound going on track one. So that'll be the second track over from me. I heard it a few minutes ago on this scanner right here. Balfang UV6 horse in the back of the truck. And there's my radar gun. Let's check the speed on this train. Let's keep the video going, son. It's got a big wind just kicked up too. And here's my radar gun. See? It's pretty simple to use. You just push this button here to turn it on and off. And then when the train's going by, you just hold the thing down for a few seconds, let it off on it, and it gives you the highest speed that the train was going while you were holding that button down. Cheap little gun, very easy to use. It costs a little over $100. I'm not sure exactly how much it costs. Had my wife order it off of Amazon. There it is. There she comes. Hopefully it's booking. Looking for a fast one. She's booking. That same heritage engine. I just caught that a week ago. Wow. Fifty-nine. Yeah, she's booking. That was a good one. Fifty-nine miles an hour. There's a short center track right there that they're getting ready to take out. They took part of the rail out. Real short siding track in the middle. Wow, that was pretty cool. You know, I just saw that same Pennsylvania Heritage Unit over in West Virginia, over in Canova. It's on the same line. But that was, what, a week or so ago, going across that big trestle in the Canova. Got that same locomotive, that's pretty neat. And I also got that locomotive going through New Miami, Ohio, just north of Hamilton. And that was back in, it was either January or February, and it was snowing. We had a winter weather advisory, real heavy snow coming down, and I filmed it going through the snow. That was really cool too, check that video out. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and all that stuff. That was really cool. Mile post 628.8. I'm riding between a couple defect detectors. And here's my cheap little radio that I use. Baofeng UV6R. And I'm listening to two frequencies right now. The top one is CSX and that bottom frequency is Norfolk Southern. Guess what? I just heard a train on CSX approaching it. Uh, Bank Lick headed southbound. Let's go over there and catch that train while we're over here. It's only a couple miles from where I'm at. Easy catch. Let's get it. Check this out.
see you. I see you. Here he comes. Working hard too. And that was a long train. Wow. It's headed southbound towards Louisville, coming from Cincinnati to Louisville on the short line. And we are just south of 
Richwood, Kentucky. Um, this is Walton. Norfolk Southern track is in the distance there. That, that railroad bridge that goes over this, that's Norfolk Southern. I was hoping to see it over and under. That would really be cool. That's happened a couple times. Thanks for watching. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course there always is. Here we go. Got the local coming through here, folks. Check this out. This will be awesome. Just coming off the trestle. Here they come. Sweet. Look at there. Pulling on that hill right there. They, they made a really good run at it. That really sounded cool. Thanks for watching, folks. That was really, really neat. There they go, up the hill. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Of course, there always is. What do you got there, kitty? What is that? What did you bring in from outside? Oh, man. It's a mouse. Oh, she brought this mouse in from outside. Holy cow. Well, we got a situation on our hands here. Gonna have to catch it and get that thing outside. I think she might have heard it. <laughs> oh boy, let's get this cat and the mouse outside. You got the mouse, kitty? Yep, there it is. Oh boy. Well, I guess that's what cats do. Not too wild about it, but the mouse can't be saved at this point, so she's got it. At least it's not in the house. She brought that mouse inside the house. I can't believe it. Now she'll just play with it. 